sure by now we've all heard the news that you know Ty Dillon and Petty GMS have you know you know mutually agreed to part ways. I'm calling it no such thing. Anyone with the brain could tell it's you know no such thing as they mutually did it because let's say his on track performance is never actually added up to being worth having on the team or deserving the ride. I don't care. You can call me whatever you want. No one can deny that he hasn't done anything to have the ride in the first place. Um, never really has. I mean, look at all the fights. He, I mean, he did start fights and stuff down in the truck series. Um, he got that win, I believe, at Indy with Yingling Light on the car in the Xfinity series, but he's underperformed, really. I mean, even then, that was that one. Like, he's underperformed all the time, and he really said that winning races and the championship is, you know, and the Cup Series is happening. Um, I don't know if he's noticed this, but uh, that 13 car is running way better with Casey Mears behind the wheel than it ever did with him. All the cars he touched in the you know, Xfinity Series before he moved up to that, they've done better without him. If they won championships and races without him. Uh, his teammate has continuously outdriven him by a margin most of the time. Hell, he just qualified you know, in the cup car at Loudoun, New Hampshire, Magic Mile, whatever you'd like to call it. And he was absolutely terrible and way, way, way behind pretty much everyone except for Cody Ware, who I'm pretty sure was the only one that qualified worse than him. And Cody Ware completely smoked his tires and locked him up trying to get into three because he was carrying so much speed and just got in there way too hard. Like, he's terrible. No way that, you know, it should be like his teammates that far ahead of him consistently and always has been. He shuts down teams. I will say he does that. But, like, what the hell? I mean, then he said the greatest line of them all. You know, you know, he's thought about the last five years. You know, now they haven't been the greatest, but now it's time for him to go and reprove himself and prove, reprove what he can do. Like, where the hell has he been? What, what has he been trying to do? He got the ride. Like, the whole point was to keep improving the 13, not put them out of business. Not to run that terrible consistently. Now, his teammate, uh, consistently, like, you're supposed to be going out there and proving yourself every race. That's why everyone... You know, some guys like might take them a while, but look how long Bowman was at it. People still like said, How does it feel making your first career start here? He's like, Yeah, don't forget I was in the series for five years. You know, because people forgot. Like he's in there doing the best he can. Look at Ross going out there taking yeah, you know, every opportunity he could. Look where it got him. You know, those are the people that, you know, look at Priest when he like you have to go out there and prove yourself every single time. And saying that, you know, it's time for me to go out there and reprove myself because you know, the last five, six years, you know. Like, you're the one that was behind the wheel. You guys could have done strategy. You could have, like, anything. There's cars that are underfunded that still have good races. You know, every once in a while. Like, he's just not good. Even when most of the fields wrecked out wherever that was a few weeks ago. I mean, look where he finished. Still wasn't that good. You know? Sorry, it's a talent thing. And again, you can yell at me all you want, but look at the people that drove that car in the Xfinity Series after him. Pretty sure Reddick was one of them championship. Yeah, you know, like he's – sorry, it's a talent thing. You know, if he goes out there, maybe he should get the 48 you know, in the Xfinity Series for you know, Orchetta because he's driven it a few times this year. You know, go out there and do that. Spend a year or two down there. Go down to the trucks and actually, you know, go down there, win races, earn the ride because we all know the only reason he got that ride, and it wasn't talent. Hell, he got 50 on the ride over Casey in the Geico car. Like, he got that, and that wasn't off of talent, because look what he was doing. He wasn't blowing doors off people in the Xfinity series either. He just happened to be, you know, a Dylan. And then and everyone respects his dad, and his brother's way better than he is. And that's how he got 42. Like, he should not have been in that car. He did nothing to earn it. There's people that don't have rides that ran way better than he did that are back in lesser series dealing with it or not having any rides at all, but yet he got another one, another opportunity. And it was because of his last name. You could try to say it wasn't. You could, I'll argue that one. Not a snowflake's chance that was anything besides his name, but I just find it funny that he, you know, it's time to go reprove what I can do and that I am going to win races and a championship in the Cup Series, and that's a thing that's going to happen. No, 
my friend. That's not going to happen ever. I hit you. Could yell at me all you want. I'm nicer to his brother than Walter ever could be, but Kai has never done anything to, you know, get there's people that run way better in the lower series that have always been in the lower series than Ty ever has. And they've never gotten a shot to move up. But yet there's Ty still getting rides. Like we all know why he got them. I'm just being honest. We don't like my honesty. Tough. That's what I'm here for. To be honest. I just think, you know, before the Xfinity race now, you know, that he's in, I just think it's fine. Mutually agreed to part ways. Yeah. That, that's one way to describe it. And the fact that he's going to go out there and win championships like that's, that's mesmerizing to me. Like you're not going to win races or a championship in the cup series. Sorry, guy. You're not that talented. No offense. You are talented, but you're not talented enough to do that. You've proven that in good equipment and bad. Even when you're in good stuff all the time in series that you should be, you know, running away with and you do nothing. Not trying to be mean. It's just a fact. If you don't like it tough, I don't care what you like and don't like. Race better. Should have been proving it the whole time. Not going to go and reprove yourself. There's people that go out there and race every race like they're proving something and like it's their last race. And you can tell he's never been one of them. And Silver Spoon fed that's what got him where he was when he shouldn't have got it. When Matty D's and the Newmans and so many people are gone from the sport, yet he kept getting opportunities just because of who he was. And I'm not afraid to say it. So deal with it. But now I'm going to go enjoy the Xfinity race. Hannah's going to take a nap. I haven't got to see an Xfinity race live in a while. You know, get all that done and try to enjoy the rest of everything coming. Hopefully I'll see the Wheeling race. You never know. You know, but enjoy the rest of your weekend. Again, share it out, comment, like it, do all that stuff. Get it out there to more people. Subscribe to everything. If you're on YouTube, it's right up there. The little link right there, you know, in that corner. I'm telling you to, you know, click on that. You'll subscribe, but like, comment on them, share everything out. Cause Facebook doesn't let me share anything anymore. And, you know, until we meet again, enjoy your weekend, enjoy the racing, and peace.